thank you, thank you. I, I agree. I do like a young Morris Chestnut. Ow! You know. <laughs> anyway, our uh, first guest is an author of two books. The first book is called Death Gamble. The second book is called Terra Moto. Please give it up for Guillermo Barahona. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Hey, Chet. Get the seat first. Thank you for having me. Right on. How you doing today? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. busy as always, you know. <laughs> so first, let me just tell you, I'm proud of you. Oh, thank those you. Those two books, you know, get them yeah. done, you know. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. Definitely a lot of work. So you said the first one is called uh, Death Gamble? Death Gamble, correct. Talk to me about it. Well, I mean, Death Gamble, what I wrote it, what, 2013 for a contest for the National Novel Writing Month Association, which is an organization that every November, they challenge people to write a book that is 50,000 words or more. So, you know, I spent most of, most of November trying to write this in the... Like, out of those 25 days that it took me, I didn't sleep for three of those days. So um, I guess the story was pretty well finished by that time. So well, How long did it take you to write it? 25 days. 25 days? 25 days. But this is more of uh, like a fiction? No, that is fiction. Yeah, no, it's uh, almost to an extent a uh, description of my love affair with Las Vegas. You know, all right. that like... Uh, glamour of the casinos and then the mob mythos that goes throughout Las Vegas. Right. So I sort of took a story out of that and I started in Los Angeles with the murder of an accountant and then, you know, my character, you know, he finds a clue that takes him right here to Las Vegas and mm -hmm. uh, said clue just unravels a mafia conspiracy and then all hell breaks loose. So, yeah. you know, pretty, pretty action movie afterward like right, that. Right. But it's sort of a... The point of that was to try to expose the city more so than just a place for, you know, gambling and all the glamour of the lights. Yeah. Know, there's more to Las Vegas than just what people think. And your motivation for it? No, well, the motivation for it was to, uh, for the contest. Yeah. Uh, you know, the National Novel Writing Month Association yeah. does a contest every November of the year. So it was sort of to make... Uh, a statement for that. This one right here, Terra Moto. Because that's based on, you know, something that I lived through back in yeah, 2001. Yeah, talk, talk to me about that one. Okay, so Terra Moto was, it's the story that when I went through the earthquakes in El Salvador back in 2001. So, you know, it was started in January 13 to 2001, and it was, you know, a 7.9 magnitude on Richter scale earthquake, and it wow. lasted 45 seconds. So, you know, that sort of completely tore, tore all my world upside down to an right. extent. I mean... Granted, it wasn't an easy childhood in El Salvador, but that story was more of saying that it wasn't just me suffering, so just but rather, you know, seven million people that suffered through that earthquake. I'll be screaming. I'll be screaming. You know, myself and my brother, that we were alone at that time, and my parents were uh, remodeling a house that we were trying to sell at the time. Yeah. I mean, what, what was it like, just like, you know, if you finished the book, kind of you was telling me that it was kind of difficult for you writing the book. Oh, I mean, what? I wrote, started writing this in 2014 after I published Death Camel. Yeah. So I felt like it was the need to tell a, a story about an experience that I went through. And of all the stories, you know, that one felt like there was not enough literature on. I mean, you see a lot of movies about disasters and right. such, but, you know, and you see a lot of camera work when something happens, like, you know, in Indonesia or Japan, Haiti, you know, all of these cameras are for a month or two. But then yeah. afterwards, people just leave thinking that everything is over. But, you know, once the camera cameras leave, yeah. everything continues on. Life yeah. has to continue on despite all it's the people that there, yeah. you know, perished and they disappeared and yeah. left. Right. You know. How long did it take you to write this one? That one I wrote it in the, um, throughout the course of 2014, but I didn't get around to finish editing it with my friend Robert. You know. yeah. It took us nearly two years to write it. I had to finish school, and then once I graduated, you know, last year, right. Right. You know, I made the push for editing and yeah. revising, and in the end, you know, we... Like, this is basically like a real-life experience. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm a city guy. I scream like a girl. Oh, well. Laugh if you want. But still, like, this is very amazing. Home. Mm -hmm. And uh, who do you like? You, this book is, like, for what age group? I know it's obviously for, like, older people. Oh, but yes. Which, which, how young can it go? I mean. Without them being traumatized. Oh, without them being traumatized. I mean, that, the, the fine not getting traumatized. Yeah. So, I mean. <laughs> yeah. But for Terremoto, I sort of leave it to at least people that when you start getting a bit of a consciousness of what the yeah. world about you. So, like, 10, yeah. 11 will be the youngest that I will recommend it to. Yeah. I mean, but otherwise, you know, anything middle school, high school, and up, so that they yeah. gain a little bigger understanding yeah. of the world. Kinda around I, work, them. I work with something back home with a lot of children. Uh, every month I send them, like, uh, mm -hmm. fresh clothes, like undershirt, socks, white mm -hmm. beaters, white shirts. And, uh, yes. I do want to get to the point where I can start sending them books. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, you know what I mean? Especially in the age of 2016 where everybody's, whew, they are Instagrammed up, you know, mm -hmm. don't even know left from right and Pokemon go this, Pokemon go that. <laughs> you know, you're definitely taking yes. it back to where, you know, what's important. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I follow you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, uh,